Whenever possible, always refer to the architect's drawings to determine the side a door is hung before installation. Special care should be taken when installing hollow core doors to establish the side of the door that contains the lock block. This can usually be identified with text or a symbol marked on the top or bottom edge on one side of the door. Once these factors have been established, the overall dimensions of the door should be compared with the opening size in the lining before offering the door into the lining. Offer the door into the frame, reducing the width and height as necessary with a jack plane. If the door requires more than a few millimetres to be removed, then a portable electric planer could be used to speed up this process. It's best to begin fitting the hanging side of the door to the lining first, before reducing its width until an even margin of 2mm is achieved between both long edges. The door can now be wedged off the ground and trimmed along the top edge until an even margin of 2mm is achieved between the door and the lining, and a slightly bigger margin along the bottom edge to give adequate clearance over the floor surface. Once the door has been trimmed to size, the sharp edges should be removed with the plane. This will improve the adhesion of the applied paint finish on the corners and give a better feel to the door when in use. Lay the door on its side, on a clean level surface, and support it either with a saw horse or chock to continue to mark the hinge positions 150 millimetres from the top and 225 millimetres from the bottom. Place one butt hinge against the marking outlines on the top and bottom edge of the door to establish the length of the leaves. This length can then be marked onto the door with a sharp pencil. Adjust a marking gauge to the thickness of one hinge leaf and transfer this setting onto the face of the door between the hinge positions indicated on the door edge. Adjust a second marking gauge to the width of the hinge leaf and transfer this setting onto the edge of the door between the hinge positions indicated. The areas marked on the door edge should now be recessed to allow each leaf to lay flat below the surface of the timber. This can be achieved by chiselling between the marking outlines at a slight angle to lift the grain of the timber. Raising the timber in this method allows the waste material to be easily removed when paring across the grain. When cleaning out the hinge recesses, Try to avoid striking the chisel along the length of the grain as this may lead to a poor finish and potential splitting. It's essential that the bottoms of the recesses are completely flat to ensure an even margin between the door and lining when the door is hung. This can be easily checked by holding the edge of the door leaf in the recessed area. Use a cordless drill to bore several pilot holes through the hinge leaves before inserting fixing screws in the top and bottom hinges. Temporary door stops should be fixed to the lining to prevent the door from falling through the opening during the next stage. Place a pair of wedges on the floor to use as packing to raise the door off the ground. This will ensure that there is an equal margin of 2mm between the head of the lining and the top of the door. 
Once the door has been correctly aligned, a wooden wedge should be used in the margin on the lock side of the door to hold it in position whilst the hinge positions can be transferred onto the edge of the door lining. Align a spare hinge between the pencil marks on the edge of the door lining and mark the width of the hinges on the face of the timber. The marking gauge previously set to the width of the hinge leaf should be reused on the face of the door lining to indicate the recess position. The second marking gauge, previously set to the thickness of the hinge leaf, should also be reused on the edge of the lining this time to indicate the depth of the recess. This process can now be repeated for the bottom hinge. The hinge positions marked out on the door lining can now be recessed using the same technique previously used on the edge of the door. Before the door can be hung, the leading edge on the hinge side of the door has to be removed to prevent it from binding on the lining as it operates. A spare hinge can be used as a template to bore the holes required in the lining prior to hanging the door. This will make the process of installation easier when securing the hinges. Place a wedge under the bottom edge of the door to pack it off the floor whilst aligning the hinges in the recesses on the door lining. Use two screws in each leaf at the top and bottom of the door to secure it in position. This allows the door to be removed more easily if it needs adjusting during its installation. When satisfied that the door operates correctly without fouling and with an even margin around its perimeter, the remaining screws can be installed to complete the hanging of a side-hung door.